you know, to have a chant in the first place, I suppose, um, it shows that, uh, you know, the fans might have taken to, to you a little bit. Um, you know, a couple of the lads have got chants, uh, maybe three or four others, so it's nice to be maybe in that small contingent that does have a chant. It's always been a dream of mine to play for Ireland. You know, I managed to do that over the last 12 months. Um, looking for uh, more minutes and more caps in the upcoming years, um, hopefully, and uh, you know, um, I'm sure that will come. Um, you know, once I'm doing uh, okay for Aston Villa, I have to thank him for giving me my my first few caps. Um, you know, he's been really good with, with myself personally. Um, you know, uh, teaching me little bits and pieces along with Roy Keane as well. So. Um, no, the, the both of them together have been really good. Yeah, it's been fantastic for myself um, to be working with Roy. I've worked with him um, on a number of occasions now since I was young. I, when I signed for Sunderland as a youth team player, he was the manager there at the time. I, have, I hadn't kind of come across him for a few years, so it was nice to to, to see him again. Um, you know, he's from where I live, back in Cork. So, you know, like I said, he's a hero of mine growing up. Um, and uh, you know, if you if you can learn stuff off one of the best, then uh, it will only improve you as a player. Um, you know, you don't get that many international caps, and you don't play in the Premier League for that long um, if you're not a good player. Um, Glenn just gets on with his business. He, he tells me a couple of things, um, you know, in training and in games. Um, that that helps me along. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice, you know, it's just me um, wanting to keep on top of things um, and wanting to improve myself every single day. I started off at Sunderland um, and now I'm at a fantastic club like Aston Villa and I, all I can say is, you know, I've worked my socks off to get to a, a club like this. Um, you know, I enjoy being here every single day, I treasure it because, you know, I know the tough times that I had down in League Two and League One. Um, and you know, I work hard every single day, make the most of every single day to try and get to the next level and hopefully that will be um, here at Aston Villa getting us to the Premier League. Just uh, that winning mentality, um, we have that at the minute. You need to obviously win a lot of games over the course of a season to, to get promoted. You know, there's a long way to go and we need to make sure we keep showing that over the course of the full season. It's just one of them things, obviously, being an Irish lad, I used to love playing hurling when I was growing up, and that is a, a hurling grip, and I just used to take it onto my golf grip. The gaffer has obviously got huge experience at this level. Got, got lads, um, you know, that everyone knows about to the club with a huge mentality, with a winning mentality, that are, that are born winners, and, uh, you know, that is definitely take this on to the next level and everyone's um, you know jumped on board um, and, and seen that and uh, you know that will only uh, bring us success I think. I wake up usually around 20 to 8 or so, um, leave the house about 8 o'clock, get into training for about half 8, have breakfast here at the training ground um, about 9, quarter past 9 get a couple of things done for training. I'm one of the ones as well out in the training pitch that probably stays out an extra 20 minutes, half an hour. I'll probably finish up about maybe about two o'clock and I'll probably get back home for about half two, usually quarter to three. And then it's um, your kind of free time to switch off from football really. I would probably have to say, you know, JT was good. I know he, he said um, when he came to Portugal was that he was very nervous having to do it because obviously he had been at one club for so long, he, he never had to do it. And for him to bring in the guitar man from the reception was, was a good kind of idea um, and it went down very well. Yeah, he was, um, he was a fantastic midfield player. He used to pass the ball around um, and pass it, you know, at whatever distance he won, 5, 10, 15, 20, outside of his boot, inside of his boot, laces, he had the whole lot. He was a, he was a fantastic midfielder, you know, top, top class. Um, you know, and uh, he was he was one of the players, obviously that midfielders look at throughout the years. Um, you know, and I and I can't speak highly enough about him. Really.